Do you realize that no matter how determined you are in life, you cannot last if you don't have the Holy Spirit? Join Apostle Divine C.O. Kafor in this revealing message. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Okay, we shall, go, we shall know that answer. <laughs> what happens if you don't have Him? If you don't have the Holy Spirit, the devil will attack you as I told you and he will get you. Right? Without Him, you will stagger and be unstable. A good fountain can never bring forth. He didn't say may not. He said cannot bring forth good and bad water. If it does, it's not a good fountain. You can't appreciate the man of God later. You are insulting him. You are not a good fountain. Don't say you are pushed to the wall. Before you have the spirit upon, you must have manifested the spirit within. The level of the spiritual move in your spirit has a reflection in your flesh. You see, you cannot be doing some kind of things again. <laughs> he said, no, I have the Holy Spirit when I'm away. <laughs> huh? If you receive him today and don't do these things I'm telling you, he, he will still be empty back. You find now that carnality has come again. A man who loves winning soul is a man who has passion for human beings. A man, <laughs> you get that, right? He's a man who has heart of a human being. Beware. Your career is secondary to the reason God sent you on earth. So, whether you are in US, Japan, anywhere in the world, that human beings, and why did God send you there? For so many. Jesus said, I must walk the works of Him that sent me. Why it is there? It means there's a time coming. If you don't walk the works, the devil will get you. Have you seen the linking of the scripture? I must walk the walks evangelism while it is day. When the night cometh, no man can walk. What is that work? So winning. Are you a soul winner? Stay tuned and discover your personal genuine answer to Do you have the Holy Spirit? Is junior, so you have allowed it for God, and if God does, Junior is in trouble. Preferential treatment. How do you see human being? The Bible says, prefer one another, be all of one mind. He said, Let this man be in you, which was in Christ. He taught him not to be robbery with, uh, to be co to God, but made himself no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant and being found like a servant. He humbled himself, even unto death. Then God had let him. So do you have the Holy Spirit with what I'm telling you? Are you sure, 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 sure? Holy Spirit? Then the next one is what? Temperance. What's, what's another word for temperance? Self-control. The first one was what? Long suffering, endurance. Okay, this one is self-control, sorry. Now, this self-control, I've told you, right? Then the Bible says, against such is what? There's no law. Question, this nine. If you have fulfilled seven and failed two, I hear by announce to you that you don't have the Holy Spirit. What if I try and fulfill eight? Wow, you tried. You are just selling mango. That's not a tree. <laughs> so how many do I need to have? Nine. To experience the spirit upon. That is why among a country, you find just four people whom God is using. You find just five. Because of the level of wickedness in high places. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. It is says wicked. Sit down. It's desperately wicked. And yet man said, God, use me. You see this nine fruit? It's delicate with pastors. Pastors. Preferential treatment. Offering wife. Thanksgiving wife. Anything wife. Hey, Peking. This one, child. 
And the other people God brought to you are good. Pastors. Preferential treatment. Once you love that girl, all favor is her. You travel, you buy for her. You buy oil, not for her. You buy meat, nae. One day she will turn to cow. I ever announced to that pastor, you don't have an iota of the Holy Spirit. No pastor should mistake a miracle coincidentally for possession of the Holy Spirit. The fact that you pray, something happen. Check, does it, check, does it happen always? You see that it's the person's faith that worked. Not your prayer. If it's your prayer, do it every day. But if you can't do it every day, you, it happens coincidentally. You prophesy, it happens coincidentally. It's, it's, of course, anybody can predict. So check yourself. Now I need the spirit upon. How heavy do you have the spirit within? And get this. Now I want to use this chair. When you're in church and you have the Holy Spirit, are you getting me? And let's assume this chair has arm. You know arm? Hand rest and back rest. Do you know what the devil does? If you have the ninth fruit of the Holy Spirit, it is a ninth fruit that secures you against the wiles of the devil. Does that sound true? So what happens is, the devil strikes you and try to make you to hate somebody. What brings you back? Love. You balance. <sighs> The devil shows you Dr. Bison's secret for you to set him up. What brings you back? Love. He pushes you behind to show you how you have been in church. No success. No success. What brings you back? The job of the Lord. He shows you how you are wasting time. What brings you back? Temperance. When he tries for a while, he doesn't. He will leave you for a while. Then angels will come and minister to you. Hallelujah. Did you get that? But without the Holy Spirit, get this. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't fight the devil. Because he brings sense. This is where I'm ending now. He brings sense to you. He brings facts to show you why you shouldn't be in church. But doesn't show you the church to worship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. He doesn't show you the church to worship. Why you should just leave and be roaming about? He can even tell you that all churches are bad. All men of God are dirty. All men of God are this. Only him is good. He puts you in the sun. That's what he does. Do you know how he does? He speak in quote the truth. In quote. He came in Genesis. He's a spirit too. Because those who live in heaven are spirit. He has lived in heaven. He heard. He sat somewhere. He saw how God was creating man. He was eating banana in the, in the, in the, in the garden. Chop. These more demons they share. God made man all. Gave him seven full mandates. Be fruitful. Multiply. Subdue the earth. In the earth. Replenish. Every stuff. Do it. Did the chop, the sock, orange. Then he heard something. He said, all the trees, they will say, stop, stop. You can freely eat of all. Don't eat of this one. Hear the condition. The day you eat of this one, you die. <laughs> he said, <"Not> a lie. <laughs> when God left, he came. He didn't ask Adam, what did God say? Meaning he heard. He said, has God said that you should not eat of this fruit? That the day you eat it, you die? He says, now the serpent was subdued than all the beasts in the air. And God made, and he said unto the woman, yea, had God said. He didn't say, what did God say? He said, had God said, you should not eat of the fruit of the garden? 
See how he, he told a woman. He comes with fact for you to leave church. He comes with fact. Show me how what he said to woman. Next verse. He says, and the woman said unto the serpent, that we may eat of all the fruit of the trees except the one of the garden. You know, God did not even speak to the woman. He spoke to Adam. Woman to the left of here to the noted. She could have said, I don't know. Ask the man. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, here, here, here. You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it. And God did not say you should not touch it. The woman lied. Because God said dress it. You can't dress what you don't touch. Yes. <laughs> huh? He said keep it and what? Dress it. It means God permitted them to touch it, but not to eat it. So the woman lied here. He said neither should you touch it, lest you die. <laughs> Satan laughed. Next verse. <laughs> and the serpent laughed. You may not see it. But you should have laughed. Because of what he wants to say now. He wants to speak the truth. Yes, sir. Or he wants to speak a truth. Yes, sir. God said, don't eat here. The day you eat, he skipped and said, you will die. He did not tell them the process. The devil came and said, let me tell you the process. He said, and the serpent said unto the woman, <laughs> you shall not surely die. <laughs> that lie. He's telling the process. What again? For God knows that the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open. True. So God hid it from Adam. There are some things you should not know in the church. But the brother will want to tell you. You get me, sir? A brother will want to tell you. Huh? Don't know it. He says, hey, have you heard about the cell leader? As you know, you will not receive from the cell leader again. The person telling you, if you are that better, why didn't you run a cell? For God knows that the day you eat of it, then your eyes shall be opened. And you shall be like as God. Knowing good and evil. True. Because if you eat it, you will know good and evil. True. True. The devil doesn't come with fake news. True. But the problem is that he's telling David to kill Saul. Huh? For the target of David's own kingship. He's not targeting Saul. You got me? He's targeting by David. So he's telling realities to David. He quoted the scripture to David and said, Ah, the Lord has delivered your enemies today. Yes, David said, Warn to me if I touch the Lord and then they say, Ah, this man, you know they hear what they tell you. Yes, sir. So the focus is you, not the person you're fighting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let, me, let me tell you something. I'm coming back to the scripture. Are you getting me, sir? Yes, sir? God, at times the devil uses men of God to get people. Because he knows that a man of God may falter 1,000 times and may heaven. Do you know what? Abraham fought out and was given a bosom. Yes, so what does he do? If you see something, maybe they are doing something to a man of God, he comes and show you. Amen? The devil comes and show you. Praise the Lord. It's okay, it's okay. He comes and show you. Why is he showing you? His target is not, sit down, his target is not a man of God. His target is you. Because a man that offends not in word. And you can't say what you don't hear. So what's his target? Man of God. You. David said, you killed the Lord's anointed. How dare you touch the Lord's anointed. He said, slay this man off. And yet the, that Lord's anointed wanted to kill him. Because the target is his own kingship. Am I communicating? So I'm showing you something now. The devil will bring facts. But check, is he attacking your own life? Your own worship? Because he knows that the week he's bringing that stuff for you to stop praying. is the week you need to receive something. It's the month you need to receive something. It's the year that has been destined for your reception. But he brought something that made you too weak. And then you come back to church after six months. That six month gap, do you know what happened? They that endure today shall be saved. <laughs> Am I communicating? Yes. They that endure to when? The end. They shall be saved. We don't pay transport on bicycle because it doesn't stand the test of time. It may, it, may, it may stand the test of sun, but not rain. 
So it's not as useful as a car. <laughs> because a car stands the test of all times. If the weather is hot, it gives you cold. If the weather is cold, it gives you hot. You pay high. Live your life like that. Don't run from challenges. Conquer it. Now, get the last question. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Do you see how everywhere is quiet? That's how we answered yesterday. It's not, a, it's not something you say, yes. And then you know inside that you are the highest misbehaving man in Central Africa. <laughs> you know. So what I want to do is, if I want to call now for people to come out, everybody will come out. Inclusive my pastors, I'm telling you. Because I know everybody's action. To receive the Holy Spirit is not bread. True, do you know how the disciples suffered before the Spirit came upon them? True, In the whole city, it came only on 120. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> uh, I said you are joking. In the whole city, it came how many? Hey! So when you go home, enter your room, tell God your truth. Say, look at my challenges. It means I may have received you, but I have not been trained in you. Shall I teach you how to train the Holy Spirit in you? Yes, sir. That should be the one thing you'll be happy to receive, right? Yes, sir. Now, this is what you do. When you receive the Holy Spirit, which you will do today, are you getting me? The first thing you start doing, start praying in tongues. The second thing, if at all you want to enjoy the Spirit of God, the second in the whole world is you must start winning souls. Once you stop winning souls, you stop using Him. If you receive him today and don't do these things I'm telling you, he, he will still be empty back. You find now that carnality has come again. A man who loves winning soul is a man who has passion for human beings. A man, <laughs> you get that, right? He's a man who has heart of a human being. And he has a heart which is soft. Because he meets people of diverse problems and pray for them. So he's touched. A man who doesn't win soul is a man who is wicked. Somebody is sick. You say, leave this place. You are smelling. You are dirty. But a man who wins souls is asking God how this man should be free. So what's the cure? Soul winning. Are you going to do it? Whether you are in US, Japan, anywhere in the world, there are human beings. And why did God send you there? For soul winning. Jesus said, I must walk the works of him that sent me. Why it is day? It means there's a time coming. If you don't walk the works, the devil gets you. Have you seen the linking of the scripture? I must walk the works of evangelism. Why it is day? When the night cometh, no man can walk. What is that work? So winning. Are you a soul winner? If you're a soul winner with me, are you going to be one now? Do your best. The people around your house will not believe you. Go away from your house. Jesus said, let's get over to the other side. Because these people don't understand us. Let's get over to the other side. They will better understand us on the other side. Praise the Lord Jesus. They will better understand us. God is so wonderful. How wonderful is he? So wonderful. He's all wonderful God. So wonderful God. And I've shown you two ways. The other one will come when you start the latter one. When you start the second one, the other ones will come. And when you stop the second one, then you will see how the devil will get you. Don't fall stroke tomorrow and tell me I didn't tell you. Not only stroke, you will give breath and see imbecile coming forth. Yeah. If it's not imbecile, stop born children. If they're not stubborn, they will be futuring in prisons. Disgracing your name. Because you never served God when he needed you. If you're a soul winner, you are securing your future. 
Hi. I have found David, a man after my own heart. Hmm? When the disciples went and prayed, the Bible said they preached everywhere and God confirmed the words. What did they do first? They preached. Before God confirms the word with signs following, they preached everywhere. What did they do first? They preached everywhere. Tell your neighbor, preach everywhere. Tell him again, tell him again. Ah, preach everywhere. You may not do it as an apostle, but preach everywhere. Wherever you are, we are connected. We would love to hear from you. Send us your testimonies and we'll call you back. Plus 237 six five two eight four eight six six eight six seven eight eight six seven three six six or email transformers tv at yahoo.com at the life transformers ministries international we are not a person we are a people we walk by faith and love